All right, so we get this question all the time. Should we get an RV or should we just keep traveling in a hotel? We're gonna address this for you today. Hey guys, if you're new here, I'm MJ and this is Izzy. We are Endless RVing, the channel that brings you the best in RV DIYs, product reviews, RV tours, and so much more. If you're new to the channel, we invite you to subscribe below, hit the notification bell, and if you're back for another video, we thank you for joining us. So in this video, we are gonna talk about why we love traveling in our RV. But why we also still like going to hotels. And make sure to stay to the end because we're gonna give you a bonus that you may not have considered. So number one is going to be cost. We've talked about this in many videos. RV travel ain't cheap, okay? Now, At least the way we travel. But yeah, well, even when this, if you have a smaller something, again, you are looking at the cost of an RV. You're looking at fuel, you're looking at maintenance, you're looking at repairs, the list goes on and on and on. Cost of campgrounds, cost right, of travel, right. fuel. Cost of everything to furnish it. When you go to a hotel, it's there. Every, well, not everything you need is there, but you're getting your necessities there without having to provide anything for yourself. So straight up, we're being honest, there is no way we'll ever recoup the cost on our motorhome versus going to destinations. Not even close. For, for the amount that we have spent, we probably could have vacationed for the next 15 years in five-star resorts, seriously. So if that's something that you think you're gonna save money, you can, more than likely, you're probably not going with the uh, RV route. Right, however, with all that being said, we will take RV travel any day over hotels. To us, it's just worth every penny. So number two is gonna be your comforts of home. Now, on our motor home, it's like a second home, really. It's decorated the way we want. We have everything we want on there. There's no clutter. There's no surprises. <laughs> so if you're a creature of habit, I should say there's no surprises regarding what's on there. There's always a surprise on what you know can go wrong. But if you're a creature of habit, or you're a germaphobe, or like a germ freak, you got your own RV, it's everything you want in there. You're pooping in your own toilet. You're not pooping in some strange toilet. There's no bed bugs. We've had experience uh, with that. Well, that's what we got into RV. You yeah, and, and it's just, it's convenient. And you have, you know, for example, cooking, all right, which is big for us. You go to a hotel, you're very limited, and in many places, you're not going to have things to cook with. Many places don't have kitchens or full kitchens. On the RV, we have everything we need in order to cook every meal. If we to want. whip up a grand, we, we've actually done Thanksgiving. This will be our third year now yeah. doing Thanksgiving on the RV and we can cook a Thanksgiving dinner, everything we need right on the RV and we love it. So that is a big convenience. And before you ask, you fit a turkey in a convection oven? Uh, we're vegan, so we don't fit a turkey. I think so. you could a small one probably. But a smaller one, yes. All right, the next thing, number three, is gonna be the journey. In a motorhome, at least for us, the journey begins as soon as you get into the driver's seat, right? If you have an RV, like when we used to have a trailer, as soon as you get into that driver's seat and you're pulling the trailer, you start getting into vacation mode, right? Right. So at least for us on the motorhome, the travel, although it takes longer, you're taking in so much more stuff, right? The fuel stops, these are the things you're gonna remember, your kids are gonna remember. When something goes wrong, Cracker Barrel, right? Like how much did Jason love staying at Cracker Barrel? The sand is very uneven. Which is, <laughs> you know, don't go down. <laughs> so yes, the boondocking, right, at Cracker Barrel was a you blast. You call it that, yeah. Well, yeah, boondocking, but, <laughs> but it was, right? You stop and get food there. Yeah, you're not doing that in your car. When we're driving down to Atlantic City, you're, you're driving on the parkway, the New Jersey Parkway, and that's it. You stop at a smelly rest stop to go to the bathroom and get a snack if you need it, but that's it. If you're driving to an airport, you know, it's the hotel to airport or home to airport, mm -hmm. try to get parking and then you're flying out. Now, on the flip side of that, where you can go in a plane is much more diverse and much more uh, expanded than you can on your RV. We can't go to Aruba on our RV. No, a year ago, the friends that we're with now, Nikki and Don, they renewed their wedding vows in Aruba and we flew out and it was a big celebration. We ain't taking my RV to Aruba. We had plans to go to Europe this summer and that canceled due to COVID. But again, these are things that you're not gonna see the world in an RV. You're going to see the United States in an RV, which is amazing for us. And there's still tons of places that we still wanna see, but you are somewhat limited. But again, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because 
we still prefer the RV. All right, number four is gonna be health. Now, we're both big proponents of trying to stay healthy. I have the, I guess, mantra that there's no excuse for me or MJ or whatever not to work out. There's always an opportunity. But when we're staying on the RV, we find that our routine is much better. We have whatever we need to work out. We make that happen. We have the time. And on top of that, we tend to eat better. Yes. So here, for example, we're away for this weekend. We're eating the crap. Now, we're vegan, but there's plenty of stuff to choose that's still not healthy. And we do tend to maybe indulge a little too much in that. When we're on the RV, we have our Instant Pot. We have our refrigerator filled with the foods that we, we want brought from home. to bring. Right, from home. So we can stay on top of that while we're away as well. We just feel better too. Yeah, I was right? just telling MJ, like we're actually headed to a hotel that has like a salad bar because I, I don't feel 100% just mm -hmm. because of what we've been eating. Yeah, and, yeah. And I don't like that. So when we're on the RV, we definitely tend to uh, be more routine, more health conscious, eat better on the RV versus when we're going away somewhere. Yeah, and if you look at the boardwalk, it's right behind us. This was great though. You know, we were able to get runs in on the boardwalk, but again, we don't have all of our gym equipment that we do bring with us on the RV. So you're limited and the gym here is closed due to COVID. So that's another reason we're just, we're kind of limited. Number five is space. Now, depending on where you stay will determine the amount of space you have. There are hotel rooms. If you stay in New York City, you're pretty much in a box for, you know, two grand a night. We're in Atlantic City right now. You're going to get a little bit more from your for your money. As you can see around us, there's a ton of space. But the room that we're in is a three bedroom. It's a penthouse suite. It's our friends. They were able to get this. So obviously way more space than our RV. For the most part, our RV usually has more space than when we stay at a hotel. Now, this is going to be dependent on what you have. If you have a teardrop, you're probably not going to have more space. Mm -hmm. We're fortunate to have the motorhome, so we, we do have space. But yeah, for the most part, we are more comfortable in the motorhome than we would be in a hotel room. Right. For you minimalists and people that do like the smaller spaces, it's not really a problem for you. now for the bonus. So there's a lot of places that we want to travel, different cultures. We're dying to go to Abu Dhabi, right? To Germany, to Austria. Oh, yeah, so many places that we want to go to, that we will go to, that you just can't do on an RV. Well, strike that. If you want to fly out to those places and rent an RV, you could do that. But a little problem being landlocked in the US, you can't get across the pond yet in an RV. So that's a big thing. One of the big reasons why, although we have the motorhome, we will continue to travel around the world Absolutely. using different modes of travel. We love to cruise. For any of the cruisers out there, once this COVID thing clears up and the restrictions are lifted, we're probably gonna be cruising again. So that's just more material for us to bring you guys. We hope that you enjoyed this video. In the comments below, if you own an RV, why do you own it? Is it exclusive now? Do you still travel by other means? What's your favorite form of travel? Yeah, what do you think of hotels? Let us know. And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see, see you on, on the road. road.